continue we have variance have industrial average we have small company then we have uh, the one the sixth one six is a uh, admin as percentage of sales is a uh, four percent here also four here three point nine here and that makes this one to be zero point one adverse seven to one is a uh, material as material cost as percentage of sales you have a uh, 34 percent here you have 32 percent of 33.7 percent here and we can observe that uh, that of uh, the veil is above the industrial average by 0.3 and that gives us 0.3 percent uh, adverse and the next one for labor as a percentage of uh, says that is labor cost you have 26 percent here 17 percent 24% and that shows uh, that uh, you're also having 2% uh, adverse since there is having a figure above the industrial average and 9 you have uh, Production over edge as a percentage of uh, sales. Here will be eighteen percent. Here will be twenty eight percent. Here is twenty one percent. And uh, giving us an a difference of 3.3, .3, but this time around, uh, Vel was able to achieve a lower cost, so making it to be favorable, 3.3 percent uh, favorable. Yeah, for the tenth one, we have uh, operating. Assets as percentage of one thousand sales you have eight thirty here you have a seven fifty here of seven four seven here and the difference is a uh, 83 83 that is uh, 830 minus 7 for 747 you know that is the three difference now which is
is also adverse the next one 11 this is a current asset uh, 1006 So also per 1,000 sales too. You have uh, 460. You have uh, 350. You have 320. And you are going to have uh, 140. That is 460 minus 320. That's also an 140 adverse there. To also have variance here. Industrial average, small company. Then we have Vel. So we're on the twelfth. We're on the twelfth one. Is a. Uh, Fixed assets uh, one thousand of sales. In there we have uh, thirty eighty. We have four hundred here. Yeah, we have four thirteen. And the difference between 380 and 413 will give us a 333 that's that 3 favorable and for 13 you don't have a raw materials Which is a uh, one thirty, and here is at forty five. Here is sixty seven. So you have a difference of sixty three. Adverse fourteen. We have uh, work in progress. Is uh, one twenty five year eighty seventy, and the difference between the difference between one twenty five and seventy, we are going to have fifty five. Now, fifty five will be adverse. Fifteen, we have uh, finished goods. Is thirty eighty here four hundred four thirteen and thirty three favorable in the sense that uh, that of a value is lower than the industrial average and sixteen we have uh, debtors. Which is a six five five, yeah, one four five. Sorry.
sorry this is uh, 155 145 and uh, 100 the difference is uh, 55 and that 55 is a uh, adverse in the sense that the depth of self uh, veil is uh, above the industrial average then here we have uh, for land and uh, building you have 200 you have 100 here we have 210 and the difference is 10 and that 10 is uh, favorable because uh, that of uh, veil is a bit lower than that of uh, the industrial average 18 we have uh, plant and machinery we have 172 280 100 sorry not 100 this is uh, 180 180 and uh, the, the difference there is uh, 8 there was able to achieve something lower than industrial average so that makes the height also favorable and lastly we have uh, vehicles or motor vehicles with uh, 8 here yeah. the small company zone is 20 the industrial average is 23 and very is able to achieve something so low than the industrial average to the tune of a 15 and that makes it uh, favorable We are going to observe that uh, what the ratios we have computed across the industries they are, and that is what the question is uh, requesting from us so it depends on what the question is asking you is asking us to do it is not the same in all instances we may have what we call appendices but and not all the appendices will be made will be made use of. If you observe from this case study now, in that our appendix in the appendices given in the question, that the tables in the question, We have made use of uh, table one because this is table one that is relevant for what we are asked to do even though we have table two table two which talks which gives us the income uh, which has the income statement and table three which has the balance sheets these two other tables may have been relevant for us if we have been asked to make our computations within the organization just compare the performance of the organizations across the three years in question but in this instance we have been asked to compare the company's performance with other similar companies in the same industry and that's the reason why we have not made use of uh, the table 2 and uh, table 3 having said that if you go back to the question for the purpose of our report now you observe that uh, this our report to center on um, these areas one the basic steps basic steps 
to corporate planning so that's going to form a, a, a section in our report then key operational and uh, financial business uh, indicators that is the second section or part in our report compared to other companies which is what we have uh, done in our appendix we just make a a, 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 a um, an inference on that then that make that the third points we are going to have the third section in our report then we also have guidance to financial financial management and policies of the company making the fourth part or section of uh, of the report then the the final part of the report not actually final another part of the report will be highlighting ethical issues making it the fifth and the second part of the question that is a question two cannot be the sixth part of the report so in total our report is going to have uh, basically six uh, bodies six sections six areas is going to talk about before we now go to our conclusions and uh, recommendations to wrap up the the report so going back to the report so remember we had the introductory part already given and uh, we said we could postpone this introductory uh, writing of this introductory part till after our appendix has been done or we could set up the introductory part and go go to our appendix and come back to to the report and start to fix in the the bodies so if we take this introductory parts to be valid we'll now go to the the various sections the reports we contain start with the very first uh, section for the body of the report which we said will be basic steps in corporate planning Need to are going to have we have to have first define what we mean by corporate planning. Corporate planning is the fundamental long range planning process used to define and achieve
organization are goals goals organizational goals the basic steps involved we include the following the first one is what we call goal setting goal setting This is the first stage in corporate planning. that that includes prevailing And uh, understanding the organization's purpose. by defining its mission its mission vision and establishing strategies next step is a uh, identification of current objectives and strategy
third is a uh, environmental analysis this involves seeking information about the business environment business environment that is internal and external factors that as bearing on the corporate plan and this may include a uh, example of such uh, factors may be economic political legal social cultural and uh, technological The next step is uh, what we call resource analysis. Resource analysis. It involves analysis of the organization of the organization's competitive advantages and disadvantages as well as the available strength
to achieve the stated objective. The next step is identification of strategic opportunities and threats the next step is what we call gap analysis And this means a performance a performance gap is the difference between the objectives established in the goal formulation formulation process and the result and the result likely to be achieved if the existing strategy is continued. Next step is uh, strategic decision making. After that, the next step is uh, strategic or strategy strategy implementation
which simply is it is the incorporation of the chosen strategy into the daily operations of the organization The last step will be, and that is uh, that is the last step. Under the main, under the basic steps for corporate uh, planning, is measurement and control. of progress this is carried out to determine the otherwise of actual performance with with the set of with the set objective set objective to enable optional corrective measures to be taken appropriately.